Here is the guide of creating a perfect YouTube channel step by step, making it a total breeze even for first timers. But that's not all. I'll also let you in on some super essential optimization secrets that a lot of people tend to miss. And trust me, you don't want to be one of them. These handy tips and tricks will enable you to fully optimize your channel and unlock its potential for racking up views and subscribers right from day one. Together, we're going to make sure your channel is set all the way up and ready to rock and roll from the very start, positioning you for success in the ever-growing YouTube universe. Let's transform you into a YouTube pro in no time. Step 1. Creating an account. Trust me, it's a piece of cake. Head over to YouTube, find that sign in button in the top right corner and give it a click. If you already have a Gmail account, simply log in. Otherwise, hit create account down below. Now decide whether you're setting this up for personal use or you want to turn YouTube into a business. Like me, running over dozens of channels and treating YouTube like a serious gig. Once you've made your choice, it's time to enter your first and last name and your email address. Quick tip, your username can be anything, so it doesn't have to match your channel name. For instance, I can use Nabio's channel as my username or whatever I wanna put down. Next, you'll need to create a password. I highly recommend using a free password generator like Bitwarden to whip up a secure password. Bitwarden even stores all your passwords for free, so you'll never forget one. And for extra security, enable two-factor authentication to protect your channel from potential hacks. And there you have it, your account's all ready and set up for YouTube channel creation, and let's dive in and have some fun. All right, moving on to step number two, setting up your YouTube channel. It's a piece of cake. Just go back to youtube.com, click on your profile picture in the top right corner, choose create channel. Next, you'll be prompted to enter the name you want for your channel. Picking a name can be quite a bit challenging, but don't worry, I've got you covered with a couple handy tools. The Shopify business name generator is great for brainstorming ideas. If you know your channel's niche, just type it in and watch the suggestions roll in. Another useful website is called Global Brand Database. Once you have a few names in mind, pop them in one at a time to check for any existing companies with the same name. This will help avoid copyright issues. And don't forget to search YouTube to make sure there aren't already any big channels using that name. For this example, I'm naming my channel Nabio, which is my name. Next up, choosing a handle, which is like a username on other social media platforms. Pick something unique and available. In this case, I'll just go with Nabio's channel. Once you see that it's available, hit create channel, and there you have it. You have your own YouTube channel set up and running. But hold on, we're not finished yet. We need to optimize that channel so we can rake in some views and subscribers. Let's get started. Now on to step three, customizing your channel and adding a profile picture. For the best quality, upload an image with a resolution of at least 1080 by 1080. Next, let's add a banner for the background of your channel. The recommended dimensions for channel art are 2560 by 1440. For designing your profile picture and banner, here are some fantastic free image editors with ready-to-use templates like Snappa and Canva. If you need ideas, browse through popular channels and observe their layouts for inspiration. It's crucial to unlock all the features YouTube has to offer. You don't want to miss out on any opportunities to boost your channel's growth and entertainment. So let's make sure everything is set up perfectly to maximize your channel's potential. Next up, step number four, unlocking all the features YouTube has in store for you. To access these features, simply verify your phone number. This will allow you to upload custom thumbnails. Trust me, custom thumbnails are a game changer. For even more features, verify your identity by uploading valid identification like a driver's license or a passport. This will grant you access to additional perks such as adding links to your video descriptions, uploading more videos, and so much more. Plus it opens the door to apply for monetization, letting you earn money every time an ad is viewed on your videos. I can personally vouch for this, my various YouTube channels bring in tens of thousands of dollars per month just from ad revenue. Step 5 is all about optimizing your channel, giving it the best chance to rake in views and subscribers. To start, head over to basic info, select your channel's country. For example, I live in the United States. A common question I get is whether to choose the country you're targeting or the country that you live in, and if there's an advantage to either. The answer is to always choose the country you actively reside in. Why? Because many of the most popular channels on YouTube create content consumed by specific countries, even though they're located in entirely different ones. So no need to worry, just stick with your home country. Next up is incorporating channel keywords. These are keywords that describe your channel and they are important for optimization. To do this quickly, just write out keywords related to your channel. For example, if this channel is about teaching people how to grow on YouTube, we can include grow on YouTube, YouTube growth, YouTube subscribers, YouTube views, and don't forget the channel's name in which this case is Nabio. To find best keywords for your channel, consider using a tool like vidIQ, which I personally use to optimize all my channels. Head to their keyword research tab, search for your channel's topic, for example, grow on YouTube, click enter, and navigate to the related keywords tab. Sort by the highest overall score to find keywords that strike a balance between competition and volume. Check the relevant ones, copy them, and paste them into your channel settings. 
Now it's time to decide if your channel is made for kids. Click on the advanced settings and ask yourself if the content is specifically intended for children. If it's not, select no, and if it is, choose yes. Once you've made your choice, hit save and lock in your settings. Now let's head over to the customization tab and click on the basic info tab. Here you'll be able to craft a description for your channel that will appear in the about section of your channel page. A useful tip is to weave the channel keywords you gathered earlier into your description naturally. For instance, you could write Nabaro's channel guides you through growing on YouTube incorporating the keyword grow on YouTube. Continue in this fashion, creating a well-rounded channel description. Next, add an email address for your channel, but avoid using the Gmail address you signed up with to prevent potential hacking. Instead, create a separate business email and use that. You can also link your social media accounts, such as Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. A great addition to your channel is a custom subscribe link, which prompts users to subscribe to your channel when clicked. To create this link, go to your YouTube channel page, copy the URL, paste this right here at the end, then copy the entire modified URL and head back to your channel's customization page and paste it as the first link, labeling it subscribe. Click publish and you'll see the new subscribe link on your channel. When users click on it, they'll be prompted to subscribe. Also consider adding this custom subscribe link to the descriptions and pinned comments of your videos to maximize subscribers. Now let's move on to setting up your upload defaults. To do this, head to YouTube, click on the YouTube studio, then navigate to the left-hand side, scroll down to settings, select upload defaults from the menu. Next, go to advanced settings and scroll down to your video language. For instance, if your channel will be in English, scroll down and select English from the list. You can also do the same for the title and description language. After that, it's time to select your channel's category. To determine the best category for your channel, take a look at all the other videos in your niche and see which category they belong to. For example, if your channel is about teaching people how to grow on YouTube, you might select the how-to style category. Once you've chosen your category, click save and apply all the settings. The next step is to customize your channel further by adding a most popular upload section. Go to the customization tab, click add section and choose popular videos. Move the section near the top of your channel page and click publish. This will display your best performing videos, attracting more views and subscribers. Now let's talk about channel permissions. First, move your personal channel to a brand account to unlock additional features. Click on your channel icon, go to settings, click view advanced settings, select move channel to brand account, and follow the prompts. If you don't have a brand account, create one by going to the settings page and clicking create new channel. After you've merged your channels, you'll have access to new features such as adding permissions. To do this, go to YouTube Creator Studio, click settings, then permissions, then manage permissions. And here you can invite people to manage your channel, which is useful if you're hiring others to help manage content and respond to comments. Choose their role, either owner, manager, and send the invitation. Now, step number six is to start uploading videos. If you want more tips on creating successful content, make sure to check out my other videos for valuable insights and advice. Happy uploading.